Hello and welcome to my channel, Natalia here and today we have pretty much requested video from many of you girls uh, who like to learn how to create your own custom diamond painting picture or you know you can do a cross stitch or per personalize your photo into the crafty uh, project so what we're gonna do today first to start this I would love to invite all my new subscribers and uh, if you're not subscribed yet please do so and have fun together here we have lots of tutorials and awesome stuff that something that I like to teach and if it's help for you that it's make happy uh, you know make my day so let's get started to to begin with we need uh, type in a search bar stitch art easy and you should have this program in here uh, is it that's the one that I'm using stitch art easy 4.0 and it's absolutely free you see that it's free and you can download click this button and save um, button to your top desk what I mean by that okay. if you download this program let me just get out of here and you should save this button here to your top desk which I have right there so it's easy for me to find okay now you double click on this and we'll open up for you a window that we're gonna create stuff with so what we wanna do I'm just gonna make a grid for easy okay so we want to download picture that we like to create in here we will go now guys just to start with I would love to say do not copyright anybody else images or pictures if if it's free image on the internet and it's doesn't have a copyright and stuff you can use it if not please contact artist and ask for permission to use the image for your only personal use not for sale so today I'm gonna show you example of picture that is gonna be my profile picture so we're gonna go right there to the corner and we're gonna click open this will take us to our files so let's see pictures 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 I'm gonna pick here it is my profile picture okay I'm gonna open this one so okay now we have this picture in here what we're gonna do with it okay this picture I took uh, sorry if you hear some noises this picture I took last year and I have here you see this uh, icon that you can rotate picture if you don't like you can play with these buttons you can flip from side to side you can do upside down depends what kind of image you have also you can cut scissors in here so in today video we are just gonna cover kind of basics as much as we have time and maybe it's gonna be like you know series one series two but for now let's just do a very simple thing that you can practice at home and try to make your own custom picture for the first time I know many of you probably know already about this program but also 
many will see this for the first time so let's start it so in here on this picture uh, also we can maximize this picture by clicking it in here on this icon it will take in a whole page but I will keep a simple this way okay it's more comfortable for me to work this way so on this picture I have a mannequin in here that is actually wearing my wedding dress it's red <laughs> so I want to eliminate that so what we can do with this picture we need to crop we can crop by taking a simply this sides buttons we can do this way and see what we like to do from you know from each each side where you want to be or if your picture perfectly fine you just want to get a little smaller you can grab a corner and drag and place wherever you want okay there's a other ways to do it by the corners or shrink okay let's just leave this for now and I'm just gonna shrink a little bit from the right side to get the back around a little bit away okay so when I'm happy with my picture I can't click hold on Put a little bit down oopsie okay okay so here's the button next well also in here the scale you can use it and check it out for example you know you shrink your picture and then you kind of look around see what do you like what you don't like about it okay so that's for it so if we're happy what we have we click button next okay this will bring us to next page where we want to design our size and stitches okay we're gonna okay there we go now here we have if we click on this button we have stitch inch and centimeters so let's go by stitch now width and height if you have this box checked like this it will keep it will keep ratio to your size if you uh, put in here for example let's do 200 stitches okay so um let's just do smaller let's do one okay we want 100 stitches this way so if we check this it will keep expert so it doesn't disturb your uh, picture so in here also we have different filters box triangle look different different so we wants to keep on long uh, what is it called long size three whatever you pronounce that okay now we are going to click button next we happy with our size up there we're gonna click next now the next page next page will bring us to the colors and um, if you see it's already my picture is pixelized because it automatically always give you 30 colors so what if you want more colors than 30 well I don't have very 
colorful colorful picture but you can play uh, you know you can go this arrow up and you can see if I click you can see have picture changing colors let me zoom in close so you can check that okay for example here when I keep clicking on my arrow you can see have color added into my picture you see that like around hair so you to play around till you like it okay but that's already like um, 52 colors I don't need this many colors okay so we gonna keep it around let's just say 30 colors okay 30 colors it's pretty good so here is the color substitute visual prompty and roughly so we want to keep on visual I like this better okay um, I don't know 30 let's let's see 30 okay let's add couple colors actually I don't like on 30 let's put 40 okay so we have a 40 colors okay now we pick how many colors we want we're gonna click next this where you see all those weird symbols when you receive in your diamond painting or cross stitch and thing and sometimes you guys saying oh such a weird colors so this program automatically will pick this is all colors that you will need for this particular diamond painting or cross stitch um, uh, canvas so if you click on this dice it will change your icons wherever you like okay um, it will change it but if you don't like you can pick your custom samples you can select which one you like well for example here's the uh, let me zoom a little bit okay this little moon with plus if we don't want it okay we just click and drag away and the symbol is gone now we'll replace that, uh, that image with something that you like for example number one okay so that's how you do you don't like this is kind of triangles and maybe something is similar in here well let's give it up this from here and put number six okay right there up here also what you can do you can totally customize your painting by clicking in here on the top you have clear button click on it and you have a now empty canvas so now you can select everything you like so I would start for example with numbers okay I would click zero and then I would go up 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 okay two three four and you make an on and on till you have all your colors it will tell you in here when you're done so it's like five from 37 even we have a four colors it's kind of give you some extra I guess I don't know so anyway that's how you do so let's clear this or we can go here's the button back you click back it will get you back where you started before this okay so let's just go click next and for the speed of purpose of the speed okay actually we want me back to this page but let's just select random colors okay so we have our colors and here what we need now also you can pick symbols font in here click on this arrow 
and you can pick whatever you like okay maybe I don't know it's just gonna change the icons in here so there's tons and tons in here you can play with it um, okay but for this video we're not gonna click any we're just gonna go whatever we have okay so now we're gonna click next and it's actually already finished so we just click on a button finish okay now let me zoom out we have our canvas that is absolutely custom made and here is your DMC codes you see that here's your old DMC chart that you need for this color uh, for this painting you have here your symbols you have your colors you have here DMC codes and you have here beats count or cross stitch count so if you're doing a cross stitch that's how many stitches you need to do if you order in your diamond painting this is how many beads you will place of each color pretty cool right so now continue a little bit with this in here on the very bottom of the screen hold on, let me just push this a little bit okay anyway here on the very bottom you have more buttons in here can you see that right there so when you click each button it will show you your picture in different colors or whatever so if we click on this black one it will show you only black and white and um, all those I'm gonna zoom out so you can see all your all your symbols and black and white so if you want to print and you know you don't want to use your color ink you can use this chart to print it out and later on you can make your own picture or diamond painting or cross stitch so now if we click and this next button which is half red half white you will have kind of like a see slight colors a little bit separation and then we have here uh, oh no that was actually yeah the next button is black and kind of pink you click on it you will get a little bit more a little bit more colors we have here you go you can see kind of original colors from my picture that appear in here on this left corner and kind of get you a little bit more colorful picture so if I shrink a little bit picture you can see better how it's look now okay but we want to see those icons okay now we're gonna click our next button up there on the bottom it will change again okay give you it just up to play with colors okay that's all about to play with colors and see how your picture will look then we have absolutely red button in here on the bottom we click on that button and now your picture only pixelated you see that okay all your icons is gone you have only pixels so obviously we don't want to use pixels because we want to see our chart so we can pick proper beads or colors with DMC code this way you kind of you can figure out right so 
I would say in my opinion you can use this one or this one I think yeah that one is good so you can see how your painting look and that's how you create your custom painting so we're gonna continue next uh, session next time and it's gonna be video number two as my battery is dying I don't think I can record right now more so guys thank you for watching and see you on video number two have a great day